isang pinagpalang araw at pagbati ng shalom, mga kapatid, kamusta ka po? Well, kahapon, it was raining hard and all day. But praise the Lord, today, the sun is shining again. And it's just beautiful to have this topic on broken and beautiful. Amen? In the book of Isaiah, in chapter 64, verse 8, ang sabi doon, Yet, O Lord, You are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of Your hand. Naalala ko, mayroon akong kaibigan na napakahilig uh, mangolekta or mamulot or even bumili pa ng mga sirang bagay. Yung mga bagay na pwede daw niyang kalikutin at ayusin or buuin at pagandahin. Kaya minsan nga natanong ko siya, bakit hindi ka nalang bumili ng bago yung wala sira? Alam niyo sagot niya? Ayoko noon kasi kulang ang ganda kung walang bakas na sira. Hmm, napapaisip talaga ako pag naalala kong kaibigan kong yun. Minsan nga, sobra ako na weirdoan sa kanya na naisip ko, hindi kaya siya ang may sira? Hmm, that's me. Sorry po. Kasi kapag ako ang may nasirang bagay, it's either itapon ko na or if I can repair pa, then I will fix it in a way I can conceal the damage. Yung hindi halata, ika nga, back to original look as much as possible. Well, ako po yun, hindi siya. Marahil, mababaw lang ang aking pangunawa o di kaya ay kulang ang pagiging imaginative or creative o yung pagka-artist ko para ma-appreciate ang kanyang kaisipan at mga ginagawa. But then, minsan nakakita ko na isang art exhibit ng mga Japanese at ito ay nag-feature na isang art form na kung tawagin ay Kintsukuroi. Ano ang Kintsukuroi? Ito daw po ay yung pagbubuo ng mga basag na ceramic wares na instead of hiding the imperfections, actually they highlight the brokenness. Yung mga ceramic pieces are put together not with transparent adhesive but with a lacquer laced with powder gold or sometimes silver or platinum. And you know what? Pag nakita nyo, the effect is stunning. Your eyes are drawn to the golden cracks and the piece is more beautiful for having been broken. Broken. We all have been broken, haven't we? It's called life and our brokenness comes from different sources like relationships, deaths, illness, accident, injury, and Finances constitute some causes outside of ourselves. But sometimes, our brokenness comes from within. A hurt held on to for far too long. A physical imperfection. Deformities ba yan since birth? Balat sa area na lagi nakikita? Pwede din, personality disorder. Or speech impediments. Or other disabilities. Alam mo, we see physical, emotional, and mental disabilities as flaws. As ugliness, we must deal with or hide. Ako, I have my own fear. Something I wanted to hide. But I simply cannot. Luma- lumaki ako na nabubuli ng gusto dahil doon sa physical attributes na yun. And not so many good childhood memories for me because of it. We also hide emotional and mental flaws. How long will someone suffer with a learning disability? such as dyslexia, before admitting they need help, or pwede din, bipolar disorder, we do our best to conceal our imperfections, don't we? Sabi nga, if we can't lick them, we hide them. Isang bagay na nagpapalala pa sa kaisipang yan ay yung trend ng mundo. It doesn't help that our society overstresses perfection. Alam nyo, you cannot believe a photo na nga, eh, no? because it may have been photoshopped or airbrushed or otherwise tweaked so the subject appears flawless. Pero ito po ang kabaligtaran ng kaisipan. That's what intrigues me about Kintsukuroi. The artist does not treat the brokenness as a flaw, but rather something to be made beautiful. The breakage isn't concealed, but brought out by the gold in the adhesive that binds it back together. Listen, kapatid. Pakinggan mo mabuti ito. Brokenness is not something to be hidden or disguised or shoved under a rug and forgotten about. But rather, something to be celebrated. It is a part of the object's history. Listen, kapatid. You are what you are because you have been broken. You're more beautiful because of your flaws. Your imperfections don't damage you in such a way that you're no longer useful. On the contrary, because you have been broken, 
you can be even more useful. How? Kapatid, simply give your brokenness to the master of Kintsukuroi. And who is that? He is Jesus. Jesus sees you beyond the way you see yourself. Sa totoo lang. Maniwala ka. There is nothing in you that God cannot make beautiful. Nothing He cannot use. Jesus has a purpose and a reason for everything sa lahat-lahat na meron tayo at nangyayari sa ating buhay. And everything comes together beautifully as a work of art in His masterful hands. You may not be a finished work yet, but you are a work in progress and Jesus finds you interesting and a very promising one. Just let Him transform what you considered ugly into the beauty He sees in you even now. Learn to appreciate the process of our master potter and in His promise, we can take hold of this. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in His time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. So kapatid, ayan. Remember always, in God's eyes, you are beautiful. Amen po ba?